and welcome back to Nerd Box Unboxing! And this month I have the August box with me. So it arrived this morning at 10 a.m. and it's currently almost 12, like noon. So I wanted to do this as soon as I could because I'm very excited. And the first thing that I noticed when I got this is that it is extremely light. I have to say, this is probably one of the lightest box I have gotten. And I got three. So this one is very, very light. It's very strange. I'm like, is there something missing in the box? Because it is that light. Um, I hope not. So let's just get started, right? Let's not keep you waiting because that will be very bad. Okay. So it's sealed, so let's take the scissors and just open this baby up. I think I'm going to do the same thing as I did last time, which was turning the box around so I don't see what is in it. And um, yeah, just discover it with you guys. So let's turn the box around and open it very slowly. And let's take a feel. Take a feel. What? What can I feel? I feel a box. I think that would be the pop vinyl. I feel a shirt. I feel something round. I think it's a bit figurine. A book? Again, another magazine. One, two, three, four. I think five. Ooh, something else. It is very light. I don't know what to open first. Okay, shirt for last, right? Um, I'm gonna open the little thing. What is this? What is this? Bravest Warriors. Cartoon Hangover. Uh, what? Cartoon? Yeah. Does it say Cartoon Hangover? This is very strange. So this is the thing I got. I don't know this. But it's very cute. Let's open it up. Ah. Oh, it's very sealed nicely. Hold on, let me open this. It's like a little, I don't know what it's supposed to be, and you can hang it like this. I don't think that is a very secure way to hang it. I think you lose it very easily. It doesn't, it, it opens very easily, and I think you might lose that very quickly like this, but it's cute. Um, I think I'll just hang this in my room somewhere. And, um, yeah, cute, right? I don't know what you think of it. It's adorable, and I better look into those bravest warriors, what it might be. So, yeah, first item, bravest warriors. Okay, now I'm gonna take the other small thing that I felt. This thing. What is this? Minikins. Mini figurine, Adam Bomb and friends. Two figures with sticks. I have no idea what this is, but apparently there are collectibles, and you can get in total uh, twenty-six of those um, thing. Look for rare blue, red, green, and ultra rare yellow. So there are two figures in this, so let's open it. This is weird, there's a lot of collectibles lately. Wasn't there gonna be a Pokemon thing in this? Uh, they better be in there. Uh... So I got a rare... Oh, look, I have a rare red one, apparently. I have... Uh, I don't know what this one is. Um... I got the Dale Snail in red. So apparently this one is rare. I don't know. Strange. And the other one that I got is a frogish one. And this is Toady Terry. I never heard of, of those things either. A lot of things I don't know apparently. Adam Bomb and Friends. Apparently it's like some atom atomic bomb happened and a lot of strange 
things like Slobby Robbie is like a huge baby, like oversized baby, and I have Manny Lenny, which is a baby with six heads. And then Pete Seed, which is a toilet. I really don't know what this is. This is strange, but I'll put it in my collection together with the Harvest Bravest Warriors. So let's put it in there and move on to the next item. So far I'm like, hmm, a bit like, I've expected more of this box. What shall I get next? I have the big square box, which I think is a vanilla pop and then the shirt. So let's... I take the magazine that's in it. <gasps> Duck Duck! Yay! This is something I like! <laughs> okay, this made up for everything. I got a Doctor Who, apparently magazine. Oh, I got two of them! Oh my god, this is great! I'm so happy! This is great! Oh, hell yes. Let's open this baby right up. Oh. Very excited for this. This makes up a lot. Oh, thank you, Nerd Box. I'm a big Doctor Who fan. I've started watching from um, season nine, and I've been hooked ever since. I'm actually going to watch the very first episode of season eight in the cinema this Saturday, so I'm super duper excited. So I'm gonna just take a peek. Uh, sneak peek. So I got two magazines. I'm showing sure you on the regular camera. So I got the one with Matt Smith and I got the one with David Tennant. So I got two of those. And I really like this. Apparently it's nerd blocks only. Oh, it's it's like a thing. It's like a Oh, it's a comic book kind of thing. Very nice. Apparently there's one with Matt Smith and there's one with David Tennant. Oh, I'm really looking forward to reading those. This looks very nice. Thank you, Nerd Blocks. I'm very happy with those. And of course, you also have like the commercial for the Nerd Blocks for the kids. So thank you, I'm very happy. Okay, now the only two things is, I haven't seen the Pokemon thing. I'm starting to get scared here. So let's get the. Did I have anything else? No, okay, let's get the vanilla pop. I got a Harley Quinn! Look! I got a Harley Quinn Pop Heroes vanilla figurine. Glows in the dark! I hate things that glow in the dark. Then I always think that it is like a monster or something. I really don't like I have like Eboo from Mario, which glows in the dark. And I get scared every every evening, even though I know it is the boo from Mario, but I always get scared. So Yeah, let's get it out of this back out, right? Oh got an itchy uh Ooh. It's got a Harley Quinn vinyl figure. Yeah. I've never been a big fan of, of Batman and that kind of thing. I never really took interest in it. It's not that I don't like it. I never really looked into it. So I cannot say that I, I whether I like it or not. It's just I never really paid attention to it. Um, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this one. I, I know Harley Quinn, but oh my god. Apparently when someone painted this Harley Quinn he left his DNA behind. So I have like a huge, I don't know if you can see this on the other camera, we have a, like a huge fingerprint. It's hard to see actually. Oh, okay. So that way you can see, so it has like a huge um, fingerprint. So I can track you mate, whoever made this, I can track you down. So that's not good. Um, it's a bit sad that it had like, it's a very nice figurine, but it has like the hugest fingerprint on there. Weird. Oh well, like, uh, uh, well I'm just gonna keep it anyway. I guess it has some more value now that I have someone's DNA on it, so 
let's look at that way. Last item already. Oh, it goes so fast every time. I don't like it. So I hope... Oh, yes, this looks Pokemon. Oh! Well... This is one hell of a nice shirt. Holy crap! Holy moly, this is really good. Okay, I'm gonna show you this. This is pretty great. I'm very happy with this shirt. So, it is my size and it says... Uh, what does it say? In the... Pocket Monsters Containment Capsules, like a Pokeball. It has like the Pokeball really opened up and everything. And on the bottom it says Siri 1 from 97. And it's only like... I think it's Japanese. I know the Japanese write like very swirly and Chinese are more straight lines. So this is like Japanese. It's super, super nice. Holy crap, I'm very happy with this one. This will be a shirt that I probably wear outside. I haven't wore any of my other shirt outside. Because I'm not a big turtle fan. So I don't know why I should wear a turtle, ninja, mutant, teenage turtle outside because I'm not a big fan. I haven't seen Ghostbusters and Tron Sentinel. I think I wore it outside, but this one, holy moly, this is a very nice shirt. Ah, I'm so very happy with this one. Yeah, that is fantastically beautiful. I love it, I really love it. I don't care, I love it. So let's do a recap of everything that I've got. In in case you forgot. So I've got a Bravest Warrior um, hangover. <laughs> Cartoon hangover. No, it's like a keychain. Then I got two collectibles of Atomic. I don't remember the name already. So I got the Red Snail, which is apparently rare. And I got the Frog. Which will go back in their cases. After that, I got two comic books of Doctor Who, one with David Tennant and one with Matt Smith, which I'm very looking forward to read. And then I got a vanilla pop uh, of Harley Quinn with a huge fingerprint on the side, which is wonderful. And I got the Pokemon t-shirt. And I gotta say, I'm more, way happier with this box than with the last box, so I hope September box will be good too. I've put more money aside to pay for two more boxes, which will be like September and October probably. So, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed my Nerd Blocks unboxing, and I'll see you next month. <laughs>